Hey guys, how you doing? This is KC8ZKI, the QRP guy, here with a software review. I think this is the first time I've reviewed a piece of software. Uh, this piece of software is really impressive, and uh, that's what prompted me to review it. Uh, what it is, is it is called SDR Control, and it was written by Marcus, D-L-A-M-R-E. Marcus is the same fella that wrote the software for Flex Radio for the iPad app that is used to connect to Flex Radios. So he wrote this piece of software, SDR Control. Uh, it runs on Mac OS, and it allows you to connect to ICOM radios in much the same way that his software connects to uh, the Flex Radios. So... I click connect here. I'm sorry, my screen is probably hard to read, but I wanted to show both the radio and the screen. Okay, so you'll see here I've got some choices. I've got IC705 access point. Now, I would use that if I were out in the field and I didn't have local uh, internet. And so what I do at that point is you turn on access point mode on the IC705. It becomes an access point server and the Mac would then become the client and would connect to the IC705 that way. And my next option there is IC705 LAN, which is what I'm gonna to use today because I'm indoors. And uh, that is using my home router to supply the IP address to both the IC705 and the Mac. And you see I've got one below called work, and that's when I'm away at work and I can use the uh, Wi-Fi access point at work. I've got IC7610 WAN. Uh, this software will work with any of the ICOM radios that have built-in IP servers. So um, that's the IC705, the 7610, the 9700. Um, it will not work with the 7300 because they don't have a built-in server. Um, I'm not sure if there are any other ICOM radios. I, I believe the 7800. And the 7851. Uh, so you'll see there I've got an actual uh, name for my 7610. So that means wherever I'm at on the net, I can connect to my 7610 at home and operate the software. So one of the reasons I really wanted this software is because when I'm using the 705 in the field for digital modes, I would often get disconnects when using the USB cable. And uh, it was really aggravating because, you know, you'd be in the middle of an FT8 contact and suddenly the sound card would disconnect. And the reason for that is, uh, you know, ground currents, common mode currents getting back into the ground system, riding along the coax cable, act, you know, and feeding into the USB ground to the computer. And the computer didn't like that and it would disconnect. The USB. So this software allows me to connect completely wirelessly to my IC705. Let's try that again. My apologies, it's taken me three minutes and I haven't even opened the darn software yet. Alright, so you see there, it's going to wake up my 705, which was in standby mode. 705 wakes up and the same thing that's on the 705 is mirrored on the screen and there are no wires in between just to make sure I'm not performing any magic here with the hidden wire. That Mac is completely standalone as is the 705 and you'll notice I pulled the frame out of my uh, little weatherproof box there. It just makes it easier to uh, view and use the 705. That puts it at a nice angle. That's one of the reasons I didn't permanently fix that frame into that box. I used a piece of foam and it holds it just fine. So anyway, back to the software. So here I am. I'm looking at the software. I have full control. Um, one of the neat things about this software is he's added some tools to it and he's got a uh, keyboard MIDI control. You can use the RC28 controller from Icon as a VFO knob. Uh, you know, a little band plan, a call lookup, a DX cluster, PSK reporter, alerts, a logbook, a CW decoder, HF fax decoder, 
RTTY decoder, PSK, and FT8. Now FT8's all the rage, so let's take a look at that. If I open the FT8 software, it does not use WSJTX. He's actually written his own piece of software that integrates with the SDR control and will operate completely standalone by itself. So I'm going to click RX and we're going to take a look at what happens here. By the way, I'm using a magnetic loop, a chameleon P-loop indoors. I should be seeing something here. I'm not sure why I'm not. Let's see if we're hearing anything. Yeah, we're definitely hearing anything. You can actually see how on the waterfall it actually marks stations. So it's definitely seeing stations. Ah, oh, there we go. It just took a minute. So there, so now it's it, very similar to WSJTX. It's showing the stations and uh, I could click to work them or I can come over here and I can click CQ and I can uh, transmit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the power down on my radio because I have not tuned this antenna perfectly yet. I'm going to take it down to 10%. And I'm going to click CQ. And I'm looking at the SWR there. And it's actually good. I mean, if you can see my SWR meter right there under the filter one, it, it, it's good. So we don't need to tune it. I had it tuned by eye. And it's right there. So now we'll just let that run for a minute. Not sure that we'll get any contacts at 10%. That's less than a watt. That's half a watt on the battery. Okay, let's see. It's uh, SWR is still good. Just a hair. That's at five watts. So we'll just we'll let that run for a second. And this is the main reason I purchased this software, so that I could do this with no wires, no disconnects. Actually, the magnetic loop was one of the antennas that uh, I would get disconnects with. That's the chameleon magnetic loop indoors. A neat little antenna. Okay, so let's turn off CQ. We haven't received any calls, but we can go up to his tool, PSK Reporter, and let's take a look at that. Let's see who her does. Okay, we were heard all over the United States, it looks like, and I, I know you guys would much prefer to see that in map format, so let us go to PSK Reporter, map display, there we go, so too bad for an indoor magnetic loop at 5 watts. Uh, yesterday I had the IC705 outdoors and I was using my homemade NFED half wave. Uh, it works with, from 40 meters uh, up. And I actually reached into the middle of Asiatic Russia, which is honestly as far as I ever get with 300 watts <laughs> on the, the uh, 7610 through the amplifier. So uh, QRP will we'll get the job done if you've got the right antenna. And uh, obviously this magnetic loop's not going to compare to you know the, the full-size 40-meter antenna. But uh, that's FT8 for you using this software. Um, the nice thing is you can log. As you log software, you'll see his log here. So if I go to logbook... It'll open the logbook, and as you're logging contacts, whether they're FT8, sideband, CW, um, it'll save to the log, and you can later export that as an ADIF or a Cabrillo format. So that takes a burden off you in the field there with the logging. 
Uh, while we're at it, let's 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 close FT8. Let me show you the CW. So we're gonna we're gonna remotely change to CW here. Okay, and you'll notice that the radio switched over to CW mode. I don't have the key plugged in right now. But, uh, let's just go down here and see if we can't find some. See, and you'll see as I'm tuning, I can tune with either radio or the screen. It's easier just to use the radio when you're sitting right next to it, right? Not a lot of activity this morning on 20 meters. Sunday morning is usually pretty darn quiet. And I think there was a North American QSO party yesterday for CW, which uh, means all the CW ops are worn out and taking a break today. <laughs> All the North American ones, anyway. Ah, now there, I see one. Hold on, let's see. We've got some activity here. I actually did not see it on the IC705 screen, but I did see it here on the Mac screen. It, the waterfall is quite precise. Okay, so let's go down and uh, open up that CW decoder I talked about. Let's see if it decodes. It's going to need a pretty strong signal to decode. Get that out of the way so I can see it. Nothing yet. And again, apologies. I'm trying to operate the radio with one hand and hold this camera with the other. Sounds like a straight key. Let's go to this guy. Just not being very cooperative, is it? You can take my word for it that it does decode well. And uh, when it decodes a call sign, you can actually click on that call sign. It will load it down here to the DX. You can put your RXT here and hit log and work contacts. Uh, oh, there's one. Let's see. He looks a little stronger. I'm set to 18 words per minute, and that guy is uh, quite a bit slower than that, so it's not logging anything. Well, I'm not going to bore you with it. I can assure you uh, it, it does work. Um, what else? Uh, tools. Those are really the only ones I use. I use the CW decoder to log CW and the uh, FT8. You know, I have tested the HF weather facts. It works. It's pretty cool. Um, I haven't tested RTTY yet or PSK. PSK is all but dead, huh? I used to enjoy that mode, but FT8 has really pushed that aside. So anyway, that is uh, SDR control, completely wireless with an IC705. Uh, if you're a Mac user, there is no Windows version, as far as I'm aware. Uh, if there was, boy, I think he would uh, really sell a lot of this because it's it's a fantastic piece of software. I, you know, I've used it at work to wake up the 7610. I try not to do that too often because I, I don't want to mix work and pleasure too much, but uh, it works great. So uh, anyway, I hope this was interesting. I hope if you're a Mac user with an ICOM radio, you check it out. Uh, I promise you won't be disappointed. Uh, KC8ZKI, the QRP guy, saying 73. Take care.